Welcome to our journey through history, where the past comes alive. Today we venture into the heart of the Byzantine Empire to the magnificent and legendary city of Constantinople, a beacon of civilization, a crossroads of East and West, and a prize coveted by empires for centuries. It stands tall. Today we're uncovering the fascinating tactics behind its fall, the dramatic conquest of Constantinople. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure through time and history. Imagine a city so strategically placed, so naturally defended that it stood defiant against the tides of war for over a thousand years. This city was not just a mere settlement, it was a beacon of resilience and strength. That was Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. A city that was more than just a political center, it was the heart of an empire that spanned centuries. Nestled at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, Constantinople commanded the vital sea route between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean. This strategic position was not just about geography, it was about control, influence and power. This enviable location made it a hub of trade, culture and immense wealth. Merchants from all corners of the known world flocked to its markets, bringing with them goods, ideas and innovations. Towering walls, a marvel of ancient engineering, encircled the city, protecting its inhabitants from countless threats. These walls, known as the Theodosian Walls, were a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of its builders. For centuries, these defences proved impenetrable, earning Constantinople the reputation of an unshakable city. The walls were not just physical barriers, they were symbols of the city's enduring spirit and determination, but history, as we know, is full of surprises. Despite its formidable defences, Constantinople faced numerous challenges and sieges. Each time it emerged stronger, its legend growing with every victory. The city's resilience was matched only by its cultural richness. Constantinople was a melting pot of cultures, religions and traditions. It was a place where East met West, where ancient traditions blended with new ideas. Its architectural marvels, like the Hagia Sophia, stood as symbols of its grandeur and sophistication. These structures were not just buildings, they were embodiments of the city's artistic and cultural achievements. Constantinople was also a centre of learning and scholarship. Its libraries and schools attracted scholars from far and wide, making it a beacon of knowledge and enlightenment. The city held immense religious significance as well. It was a spiritual centre for Christianity, housing some of the most important religious sites and relics of the time. Daily life in Constantinople was vibrant and bustling. Its markets were filled with the sounds of haggling merchants, the aroma of exotic spices and the sight of colourful textiles. Throughout its history, Constantinople witnessed key moments that shaped the course of civilizations. From epic battles to diplomatic triumphs, the city's story is a tapestry of human endeavor and resilience. Yet even the unshakable city faced its ultimate test. The fall of Constantinople in 1453 marked the end of an era, but its legacy continues to inspire and captivate us to this day. Today, the legacy of Constantinople lives on in modern Istanbul. The echoes of its past can still be felt in the city's streets, its architecture and its enduring spirit. The story of Constantinople is a reminder of the resilience of human spirit and the enduring power of strategic vision. It teaches us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, a city, a people, can stand unshakable. From the rugged landscapes of Anatolia, a new power emerged, the Ottoman Empire. Fueled by ambition and a thirst for conquest, they swept across the region, absorbing territories and expanding their reach. Constantinople, with its strategic importance and legendary riches, became the ultimate prize, a jewel in the Ottoman crown waiting to be claimed. The Ottomans, under the leadership of ambitious sultans, meticulously planned their assault, learning from past failures and exploiting any weakness in the Byzantine defences. A new era of warfare was dawning, one that would change the course of history. Chapter 3. The Roar of Cannons. The year is 1453. The city of Constantinople, a jewel of the Byzantine Empire, stood as a beacon of strength and resilience. For centuries it had withstood countless sieges, its mighty walls repelling invaders time and again. The walls of Constantinople, once thought invincible, faced a terrifying new adversary, gunpowder. This revolutionary substance had changed the face of warfare forever, rendering traditional fortifications vulnerable. 
The Ottomans, masters of this new technology, had amassed a fearsome arsenal of cannons, colossal weapons capable of hurling enormous stone balls with devastating force. These cannons, some of the largest ever built, were the brainchild of the brilliant engineer Urban, who had defected to the Ottoman side. The very ground trembled as these behemoths roared to life, their thunderous blasts echoing across the Bosphorus Strait. The sound was deafening, a harbinger of the destruction that was to come. Each shot fired was a testament to the sheer power and ingenuity of the Ottoman war machine. One by one, the once impenetrable walls began to crumble under the relentless bombardment, marking a turning point in siege warfare. The defenders watched in horror as their beloved city's defences were systematically dismantled. The psychological impact of the cannons was as devastating as the physical destruction they wrought. The defenders, though valiant, were fighting a losing battle against an enemy armed with the power of thunder. Their traditional weapons and tactics were no match for the overwhelming firepower of the Ottoman artillery. Despite their bravery, the outcome seemed inevitable. The fall of Constantinople was not just a military defeat. It was the end of an era, a dramatic shift in the balance of power that would reshape the world for centuries to come. The conquest of Constantinople marked the rise of the Ottoman Empire as a dominant force in the region. It was a moment that signalled the dawn of a new age where gunpowder and cannons would redefine the art of war. The echoes of those thunderous blasts would reverberate through history, a reminder of the relentless march of progress and the ever-changing nature of power. Chapter 4. A City Under Siege the Ottomans, masters of both land and sea, employed a cunning strategy to tighten their grip on Constantinople. A vast fleet of warships, adorned with the Ottoman crescent moon, cut off the city's vital supply lines. The lifeblood of Constantinople, the flow of food and reinforcements from allied ports, slowed to a trickle. Inside the city walls, fear and uncertainty gripped the hearts of its citizens. Food became scarce and the once bustling markets fell silent, yet the Byzantines with unwavering spirit refused to surrender, clinging to the hope of a miracle. Chapter 5. The Fall of a Legend This chapter delves into one of the most pivotal moments in history, the fall of Constantinople, a city that had stood as a beacon of civilization for over a millennium. On May 29, 1453, the Ottoman army, led by Sultan Mehmed II, launched their final and decisive assault on the city. This was not just a battle for territory, but a clash of empires, ideologies and destinies. Waves of soldiers, fueled by faith and the promise of glory, surged towards the weakened defences of Constantinople. The Ottomans had been laying siege to the city for weeks, using massive cannons to batter the walls that had once seemed impregnable. The defenders, outnumbered and exhausted, fought with the courage of lions, but the tide had turned against them. Emperor Constantine VII and his men knew they were facing insurmountable odds, yet they stood their ground, embodying the spirit of a fallen empire. Through a breach in the once mighty walls, Ottoman forces poured into the city. The walls which had protected Constantinople for centuries were finally giving way under the relentless assault. The streets of Constantinople, once echoing with the sounds of commerce and laughter, were now filled with the din of battle. The city's inhabitants, caught in the crossfire, could only watch in horror as their world crumbled around them. After a desperate struggle, the Ottoman flag flew high above Constantinople, marking the end of an era. The sight of the flag signified not just a military victory, but the dawn of a new age for the Ottomans and the end of Byzantine rule. The Byzantine Empire, after a reign of over a thousand years, had fallen. This moment marked the end of the medieval period and the beginning of the Renaissance, as scholars fled the fallen city, bringing with them ancient texts and knowledge that would ignite a new era of learning and discovery. Sultan Mehmed II, known as Mehmed the Conqueror, would go on to transform Constantinople into Istanbul, a vibrant center of culture and commerce. Meanwhile, the fall of the city had far-reaching consequences, influencing the course of European history and the spread of the Renaissance. The Hagia Sophia, once the greatest church in Christendom, was converted into a mosque, symbolizing the profound changes that were taking place. 
Istanbul would grow to become a melting pot of cultures, religions and ideas, a legacy that continues to this day. The fall of Constantinople was not just the end of an empire, but the beginning of a new chapter in world history. It serves as a reminder of the impermanence of even the greatest civilizations and the ever-changing nature of human history. Outro Echoes of History Thanks for joining us on this historical adventure, the fall of Constantinople, a pivotal moment in history, reminds us of the ever-changing tides of power and the enduring spirit of those who fight for their beliefs. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from history. See you next time.